Hello and welcome to Paper Play with Julie K. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. And today I have a design team project to share with you guys for Angel Dream Crafts. And again, Angel Dream Crafts is a store owned by Kim on Etsy and she sells beautiful laces and trim bling, doilies, appliques, just to name some of the items that she sells. And if you guys are new to her store, she does offer, if you are in the U.S., free shipping if you spend $35 or more, which I think is a great deal. And I do have links listed below in the description box so you can easily find her store, also her own personal YouTube channel, and also some of the other ladies who are on the design team either now or will be soon. So make sure you guys check out their channels. And for today's project, I decided to go ahead and alter a paintbrush. It's been something on my crafty to do wish list for quite a while. And I know when I received a couple of the items in my design team package from Kim, I knew that I had to create an altered paintbrush. And so I did go ahead and start with, it was a wood, based paintbrush. This part up here was wood and I went ahead and crackle painted it. I also crackle painted my cigar box that I decorated for a Kim shop earlier this month and as I was doing that project I thought it would be really cute to do the same thing for this altered paintbrush because I knew I wanted to go with a vintage shabby type feel and I think crackle paint works perfect depending upon the colors that you pick out to kind of add a vintage feel to any project. And so after I did that to the wood part of this paintbrush, I went ahead and I wanted to add a little pink color to the base of it. And so this base part was kind of some brown fibers or kind of a coffee colored along with some white bristles on it. And I went ahead and I dipped just the bottom of it in some pink chalk paint. And then I also kind of took my paintbrush and kind of painted down some pink on it just because I wanted to have a little bit of pink in this project. And so once I did that, I started layering on my laces and trims. And the first lace that I ended up putting on to my paintbrush, she carries this beautiful leaf dangle trim in her store. And so I went ahead and added that and originally I had left it white and it wasn't until later on that I decided to change the color to green. And so what I ended up doing to change it green was I just took some my paintbrush and I used some like glimmer mist spray and it was kind of in an olive green color and I just painted it on. I was very careful and I just painted each leaf because I had already glued this top piece on before I did that. So. Um, but it did work well and I just had to be patient with it drawing and I had to hold this part up while it was drawing. But it turned out really cute I think and I love how um, the color turned out once I painted it green. It was really cute as white too. But as I got going on this project I decided I kind of wanted to make it look like a rose garden. And so by painting that dangle lace green that made it look more like a rose garden. And then also in between each of the layers of the dangle trim, I went ahead and added some pearl trim from my stash. And on top of that, she carried this beautiful cream colored embroidered lace. It has some roses or flowers on it. And so I kind of gathered that up going around the whole paintbrush. And then I also went ahead and added some flat back pearl or some pearls to the top of that. And once I got done with that, again, I kind of knew I wanted to go with a garden rose type theme. So I went ahead and added some of these really pretty pink ribbon roses. And some of the ribbon roses came from my stash and some of them came from a larger applique that Kim selled, sells in her shop. And I think the ones that came off of the, the applique from Kim's shop are the ones that I used up here. And there was like, I think, five ribbon roses on that applique. And so I took them off of that. And then, of course, I added the other ones for, that were from my stash. And I kind of staggered them. I added them to the base, the triangle base part on this beautiful lace trim from her store. I added them there. And I added them to 
the dangle trim and I kind of staggered them so they're kind of all in different areas on the trim just to kind of make it look like hanging vines that maybe had roses on it and I think that turned out so pretty. I think this type of theme would be really cute too if you wanted to go with like a fairy type themed um, altered paintbrush that would be really cute. And so after I did all that, um, Kim does carry in her shop, she carries these metal pieces and they are silver. And so you can see a little bit of a base of one sitting right there. I did paint it with some chalk paint and then I also went over it with a little bit of a coffee colored ink just to make it look a little more vintage. And then I also used a metal piece from her shop and I wrapped it around the top of my paintbrush for an embellishment. So you can kind of see that metal piece a little bit better here. Again, I painted it with some chalk paint and then I went over it with some coffee colored ink just to make it look more vintage. And so down here, once I had this piece painted, I went ahead and added some, a little flower embellishment. Again, the lace came from her store and I gathered it up kind of like a flower. And she carries beautiful cabochons, glass cabochons in her store. Some of them have roses on them. She also has this set with vintage women and I just fell in love with that image. This beautiful woman has flowers in her hair. So again, it kind of carried out the little rose garden theme that I was kind of going for. And once I glued that onto the lace, which this lace was originally white, but I went ahead and dyed it, tea dyed it so it would have a vintage color. I added some flat back pearls around it just to add a little bit more embellishment to it. I also attached the word dream which I had stamped and cut out on a piece of paper. And up here I added some ribbon roses just to kind of finish off that little flower embellishment. Then after I had that done, I had a Tim Holtz birdcage in my stash and so I went ahead and added that and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this on camera or not but if you look inside of the birdcage I did use Kim sells some vintage papers in her store book papers and this one's a vintage German paper so I did use that kind of as the background in my birdcage and then I also added, if you can see, there's another little glass bauble in there. And this one actually has some dried flowers in it. And it was part of a necklace that I received from my friend Sue Ann Thomason a couple of years ago. And I've been waiting for something special to use it on. And this was the perfect thing to use it on. So I went ahead and added that. I thought it matched perfectly because it had little dried flowers in it. And like I said, I don't know how well that's going to show up on the camera, but it looks really cute in person. And then also behind that Tim Holtz birdcage, you can see a little doily that I received in one of my design team packages from Kim Shop. I think currently she does have some doily grab bags available. I know um, she sold out of them the first time, so she has another set again in her store. So um, I think they're still there as I'm filming this, but again, I don't know because she sells out of stuff pretty fast. And so on top of this birdcage, I layered some of the pretty little pink flowers that came off of the applique from her store. I also took some more of that dangle trim and kind of layered it like there were some vines coming off of the top of the birdcage. And then once I did that, I went ahead and added some of these birds that were in my stash. And these actually are some pieces like from long time ago in the 80s, they used to use these birds to decorate wedding cakes. And so the packaging actually um, has like wedding decorations on it. But I know, and then I went ahead and used it on here because I picked up quite a few of them a while ago, but they, I think they were from the 80s, these little acrylic birds. And so I had one right there. And then I also added one right here on the edge of the paintbrush. And I went ahead and added a couple more flowers next to this one. And then to finish it off, once this metal piece had glued on fully, I added another metal piece from my stash. And I do know, um, as I'm filming this, Kim also got some new metal pieces in her store. And so she has one very similar to this one. And it's kind of a, like a multi-grab bag of some different metal pieces. And I did see one that was very similar to this. So I went ahead and I painted that one green just to kind of make it look like a leaf color and to kind of carry out the green that I had in a couple other spots on here. And then Kim sells these really cute bling pieces. It has the acrylic rose and there's some rhinestones on it and some pearls. 
and so I did add that on top and I just love how that kind of finished it off and again this was a flat metal piece like I had used under here and I was able to bend it and glue it down I did have to as I glued it down I did end up using E6000 glue and then I also once I had it bent the way I wanted it with glue on it I did take a clamp and glue that part down um, with a clamp and I let it sit for 24 hours before I added on the other pieces and so it did glue pretty easily onto my wood handle there and so then on the back side I added another metal piece just to finish it off and again she has those beautiful rose cabochons and so I added this one it had the pink roses and then there's also some green in it just to kind of carry out the pink and the green that I was adding to other parts of this paintbrush and because I like my back sides to look nice too I went ahead and I added flowers to the vines back here the dangles and I added flowers to the back of the trim back here and I added a couple ribbon roses up here too but I really love how this turned out and I'm really excited about it and then the last thing I did is I did add another piece of trim from Kim shop and this one I did cut down to fit as my hanging element piece but it works really good so then I can kind of hang it on my wall in my craft room thanks so much for watching today and again you can find links for Kim shop listed below in the description box and until next time I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting